okay everyone welcome back to the channel today we're back with a track guide at monza in the group four cars you can see there the veyron obviously one of the most overpowered cars here so i've done the track guide in this because this is a car that most people are going to be using for this track and it's probably the best choice anyway with its fuel saving ability so there i've done two races so far today did them very early on when i hadn't got the lap as fast as i had it here i did this lap very early this morning and i had to go out i wanted to get this guide out earlier but unfortunately wasn't able to get it out um first thing this morning but managed to get home now and um wanted to get this guide out for the rest of the night just to help people out uh, i've got i'm still in p4 on the top 10 stars which i was quite surprised about i did expect to drop down a little bit but the lap was reasonable there is a lot more potential in this i have changed some stuff with my wheel because um, the fi manufacturer race again didn't go as i would planned my consistency wasn't anywhere near what it was like when i was practicing and it was just really strange the car didn't feel anything like it did when i was practicing with tr lightning and um, it just wasn't a brilliant race again but i'll have that race uploaded and also i've because of that i've basically gone back and changed my my um, force feedback settings partially because I created another account because I wanted to redo the race on the American account and the American account wasn't working so I had to recreate another one and when I went on there the, the grip felt different it felt like I had more grip so I looked at all the settings and my the settings were completely different to my current force feedback so I've changed it to the default settings and it now feels a lot easier to drive and I could instantly get this this lap I did it only took me a couple well, about 20 minutes to get this lap so I was really happy with it and it put me right at the front of the um, top 10 stars in P4 so hopefully it could be helping me out in, in, with, especially with cars when they tend to lose grip I can feel that the, the grip loss a lot easier now but anyway we're going to go through through this track guide now in the group 4 Veyron going into turn 1 obviously we've got the camera up in that top right hand corner for the chase camera and the first braking point obviously is going to be a little bit short of the 150 because this car is carrying a little bit more speed than the other group four cars you want to break a little bit short of that 150 so as i slow it down now you're going to see the braking input starting there a fair bit short of the 150 that's because we're nearly going 160 miles per hour in this group in this vera and then braking down keeping the braking in the straight line and then trail brake as you're turning into the corner you'll see my brake pedal slowly release as we start turning into the apex you can really cut some of this kick this curb off see how i do it there four wheel drive obviously on this car so you can get on the power very early just stop on the power use some of the curb on the right side the, the rear started to step out a bit but it, it gripped fairly okay even with that and then powering out of the corner you can see the ghost was gaining a little bit on the other stage because i didn't really get the power down as smoothly smoothly as i would have liked however because I, I took a lot of speed into the corner i was still ahead overall and then going into the next corner you can see here now braking on the 150 and you'll see there just hitting the brake pressure just after the 150 it's just past the 150 starting to put that maximum brake pressure in down into third gear and then again turning very early because you can cut a lot of this curb off on the left hand side you'll see now as i really attack this left hand tire onto that curb and then i took a bit too much speed into this corner as you can see i've kind of compromised my exit now of this corner however i just about got away with it just about staying in the margins there but ran a little bit wide there and lost a fair amount of time i was quite a bit ahead of the ghost at that point but then the ghost started to catch me up slightly due to the fact that i'd run wide and then breaking just after the 50 board on the left and what you want to do is just really swing it into this corner lift off the throttle and then once you feel the grips there be very early on the front as early as you can and if you get it right you should be able to get on the power very early and then working our way into the second part of the lesmo breaking just short of the 50 board on the left hand side you're going to see it now just starting to break there and down in, down into fourth gear don't go into third gear just stay in fourth gear for this corner and really attack the right hand side again with that right hand tire onto that green part of astro and then really get on the power as early as you can it's so important for this corner to get on the power as early as you can in this car because you'll gain so much on the exit i hooked that up that time didn't run wide and the difference you can see there from the ghost on the ghost i ran wide and this lap i didn't you can see this was actually my second lap i found that i can get more consistency now the first lap lap one was a 50.88 a 50.0 0.088 and then this lap is a bit faster as you can see there breaking just after the bridge for this corner i found just past the bridge enables you to then really attack this corner nice and early i would have liked to have got my left hand tire a little bit more over the curb than what i did at this point um but you'll see it got it reasonable but i had compromised a little bit this exit but then you can with with this car it's so easy to get on this curb and run some of the astro on the right hand side it just grips and it actually starts to slide 
very gently which helps you out all the way through the corner and then again you can attack this curb because this car doesn't really get affected by curbs too much you can see there over the curb no loss of speed into fifth gear before i come out the exit that just helps the pull obviously this car's got very good pull with short shifting and that's why it's so good with fuel saving races because it can save a lot of fuel and then braking looking for our next braking zone it's going to be just short of the 100 board on the left hand side i like to break a bit short with this car again because you're carrying more speed than other group four cars so a little bit short of the 100 is where i'm starting my braking down into fourth gear and I, I do like to stay in fourth gear for this corner rather than going down to third in the qualifying type of time trial and then staying as close as right hand curb as possible you really need to stay tight so that's you can get the power really early and stay as close to that right side as possible all the way through the corner just slowly feed that steering wheel off as you you know to stop your you know stop the scrubbing the speed off you want to be really gentle as you feed it off and then stay over to the right hand side of the track and in a straight line go over to the finishing line for 1 minute 55.049 now there was potential to get that well into, I think a full 54.8 or something and I think it's definitely got something to do with the force feedback that I've changed I've gone back to the default settings on everything and you can see my lap one I, I don't normally do this I don't normally do like two laps in a row but I, would be, I was able to get in like four or five laps in a row which were all very low 55s and that's really good for me because that means the consistency is better with the force feedback settings I'm now using. I don't know why I was using the settings I had. I think that either an update has changed them at some point or when I went on the control pad I must have messed around with stuff and I've never gone back and changed it but I've moved it back to the default settings now and I can feel the grip loss so much easier. I can feel where the car's closer to the limit so hopefully that will help me out a bit in the um, future races as it definitely felt like I went back onto on my American count last night and I changed, obviously I was with the default settings, so I just quickly went on to Interlagos and beat the lap that I'd done for about an hour or so on the UK account. And I beat it within five minutes on the American account with the default settings, and it felt like it had a lot more potential. So it, it must be something, it must be helping me somewhere. It felt a lot easier to catch drifts as well when the car did slide and start sliding. So hopefully this will all help me out in um, future FIA races when it comes to the, the Group 3 car more so than the Group 4. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this lap. Hope it helps you out for this track. Um, I'm going to try and get the race I've done for this either up today or tomorrow. I'm not sure whether I'll do the manufacturer's race tomorrow. I might upload the manufacturer's race tomorrow if possible. And then I might upload this race from this morning just to help you out with strategy because this track is a no-stop strategy. You don't need to pit with this race. It's all about saving fuel. And if I upload that, it might help some people out in terms of how I did it. And um, I only had two races probably could optimize it a little bit more but I managed to win both of them and um, you know, it should help you out with how to run the race in terms of strategy and how to you know, save fuel and stuff. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I'll let you guys watch it in full speed from the normal camera now so you can see it from this camera at full speed and I'll be back very soon with more videos. Thanks again for watching.